Hey guys, RC here, back with Starter's Order 7. This is episode 12 of our redo series. Uh, so we got a, we had a winner last episode, a one-mile maiden winner at that in Putin. Could not believe it. He is running again today, and he is not the favorite, however. We're running a Class 2 handicap. Can I, I wonder if I could pull him out of this race. Is it too late? August 9th. So I could remove him here. He's not carrying much weight. Is there anything? Let's see. So we won the one mile maiden. This is a one mile class two. But he does not have the rating there. He's only a 71. So if we wanted to look at another mile race. August 9th. 71. 80 instead of 90, 85, a class two, do I take the gamble there, only four horses, <coughs> class two conditions, or do I look at a grade three, kind of like that, better but we have some horses oh my god in good form um 90 80 problem is they're just not good stakes this is a uh, see this is a zero to 100 80 is the top so this would be the same as running in a zero to 80 you know what i'm going to stay in this one I'm going to stay in it, better or worse. Let's go race. Let's go race. A lot of our two-year-olds we have sent out to, to the field uh, to close out their season. All right, we're picked second. We actually have somebody looking at us, looking well. All right, the whole field looks really solid. All right, let's go race. Come on, Putin. You, and we crashed. Son of a gun. Well, there's that. All right, so we're back on the same race day. Let's save again just to make sure. If it crashes again, we'll have to try that skip technique. And we are, oh, we're actually joint favorites this time. Let's try from down, uh, let's save right here. Nope, it crashed again. All right. Um, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. All right, let's load it up. All right, so I can't watch the race. Man, I wonder if we could watch it from here. We'll try. Let's try. It's got to be something with the track then. Now, I don't have, I, I took out the start it mod. So this is the vanilla tracks as far as I know. Because the only tracks came with the start it mod. And with that being off, that should not affect us in the least. All right, but we're just going to skip the race just to see if we can get past it. Now, where are we racing at here? Monticello. All right, we do finish second. One and three quarter lengths back. That's disappointing. I wonder if we can go back and watch the race now. Enjoyed the ground, so it was a good good track for him. All right, we're going to get out of here, out of here. All right, I'm going to save again, and let's go and see if we can watch the replay. And the answer is no. <laughs> all right, so they don't like Monticello at all. All right, so I'm going to have to remember that, which I won't. I guess the good news is I won't be at Monticello all that often, but not sure what's causing the 
issue. All right, let's see. Sales, because we do have yearlings on the 28th, but I do have a couple of horses coming up in a few days. So today we have, uh, you know what? In fact, Putin... Ju yeah, his juvenile constitution isn't horrible. And he's got really good confidence. I wonder... The nose band seems to be suiting him well. And he's really liking the turf, not dirt. So, uh, and I think, I think that's what these color indicators are. So it's good and soft, good, good and firm. But the green is turf. The brown is dirt, I think. So let's look for another miler. for him all right we've got a conditions race this is in South Africa class one grade three class one grade three that one's got two horses going in it a lot in the 80s and 90s. We're in the 70s, so I, I don't think we're cut out for that. What about this one? You got a couple of maiden horses that have only haven't even got a rating, but have wins. Putin's been looking pretty solid, so he could come in third or fourth in that, and the purse on that is 43,000 kind of like that idea yeah let's go with that why not why not you see how much thought I put into this because I, I know exactly what I'm looking for right all right cashmere brown not the favorite in her mile amthal oh amthal I don't know what to do with you all right sorry about that uh, so let's see. All right, let's go out to the track. Let's save. Head out to the track. All right, Cashmere Brown. Third most weight. She just has not looked good since winning her maiden. Uh, did I just botch that up? I don't know what that was. Oh, well. All right, <laughs> tipsters. Coping well and fit. All right, come on, girl. On the dirt, towards the rail. Uh, is there a way to, let's see, this is, I don't know what that is, don't know what that is. I don't know what any of these are. No clue. If you know what these are or where I can read about these, let me know. Because I don't know what they mean. All right. We're on the rail. Sitting in a good position, it looks like. Five furlongs to go. We're looking pretty solid. Moving up a tad on Dickens' rules. Starting to close in. Three furlongs. Oh, here comes the field. All right, we just got passed by Rain Dautel and Dickens Rules. We're currently in fourth. Medician, Medician coming up on the rail. Oh, my goodness. One furlong to go. Are we going to have any charge here into the money? We're showing a little bit, but not enough. Dickens Rule holds us off, and we fade, and we finish fifth at the wire. We got nosed out right at the tip. That was disappointing. Oh, no, we did not. No, we did not. A short head. Woo, we just held on. We did weaken, though, so that kind of sucks. Suited may do better against lesser competition. I don't know that there is any lesser competition. We do have another horse today, right? I seem to recall that. I'm old, so I forget things real fast. Yeah, Amthal. Oh, that's why I forgot. Because Amthal kind of sucks. 
All right. Uh, ugh. All right. We'll save here. Uh, tipsters. Eternal Ruler. Coping well. How's a Eternal Ruler? Parading lazily. I was thinking about putting some money, but if they're running lazy, I'm not interested. We'll go race. Oh, six furlongs. We're towards the outside here. Good break with the pack. Getting pushed over and squeezed a little bit in that back line. We drop off behind the field. And we are running dead last by a distance. All right, two furlong pole. It's Golden Jordan and Eternal Ruler out front. Deny in third. Eternal Ruler trying to come on. We've got the number four horse, Torin Sound, making a charge. Eternal Ruler charges into the lead. And he is running away with it. Amthal way in the rear. I don't know how far behind anybody. Uh, not too far behind Lady Isley, but uh, a last place finish, and I think we're gonna we're gonna hang up, hang Amthal up. We're gonna hang that up. Rinda's a stalker. We'll be better over a longer trip. Really. So bred at a mile. We ran six furlongs. We ran seven and a mile. She actually did like a mile, didn't she? She ran better. Do we do we give her one more go? Do we give her one more go? All right. Um, one mile. Grade three. I guess we could try one. I've got a handicap here. We got a grade three there. Wouldn't be the worst rating. We've got some horses that are not in good form. William Van Gogh, a first and a second. Pocahontas finished first. Maybe. Maybe. We'll be on the lightest weight. We'll give it a try. Can't hurt, I suppose. Nothing can hurt. <laughs> um, I need to pay a little more attention to dirt and grass, I think. You know what? Is there a way to actually tell? All right, let's just look at this one just for... Yes, okay, it does tell you. So dirt. All right, let's see. So one mile. Class one, grade two on turf. All right, where has she looked best? She's run her best on turf, hasn't she? She did get a win on dirt. She had a third, back-to-back -back thirds on dirt. But she's been in the money on turf both times. You know what? Let's... Let's remove from there and let's look at, no, turf, a grade two? I mean, she'd be outclassed. She'd be outclassed big time. That might be, I think that's too big of a jump. All right, let's look for something else here. We've got a 0 to 75 handicap with five horses running. She'd be in good company there, although these top two horses are in pretty good form as of late. A grade two. There's a possibility. Is that turf? It is turf. I think we're going to go for that one. It's on turf. The field is not overly dominant. She's going to be right in the mix with a 72 rating. We'll give that a go. Uh, Cashmere Brown. I don't think we're. I don't know if we'll race her again. 
but let's see what's going on. All right, next yearling sale is the 28th. We do have one more race between now and then. All right, third half. Can you do something different? Seven furlongs. It's a seven furlong race. Four hundred and forty seven days since his last win. Let's get out to the track. This horse is like my my kryptonite. I I, I think he looks really good. You guys seem to think he looks really good. And we just can't do anything with him. Coping well and fit. All right, we're on the turf this time. Starting in the middle of the pack, seven furlongs. We break late with the trailers. Immediately move towards the outside. Find a lane. All right, we get out towards the front, and we take an early lead. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. All right, we drop back into second. All right, coming up on the two furlong pole, number three is Firesteed coming up on the outside. We are a head back, closing. We're a short head, coming up on the furlong pole. Looks like Firesteed is falling back. Barbara's Muse is coming in. We are head to head. Half a furlong to go. Come on, boy. Or half a mile to go. Come on. We're going to get nosed out by a neck. All right. But still, a second place finish. You know, if we're finishing in the money, I'm pretty, pretty freaking happy with that, to be fair. Pretty freaking happy with that. All right. That pockets is twenty two hundred bucks. Disputed the lead to halfway and stayed on, so we showed a little bit of heart there. Got the distance well. Loved the ground. So definitely turf. Considering we struggled for pace, that was a promising run. Okay. I don't think we've got any more horses today. We're not going to buy any of those. All right, so seven furlongs. We got the distance right. Seven furlongs. There's a selling race, not interested. They're all selling races. That's September 3rd. That's only a couple of weeks out. I don't think he'll be ready for that. So we'll look for something closer to the end of the year for him. And that is going to get us to the yearling sales on the 28th. All right. I think that's the yearling sales here. It is. Anybody... We want, all right, nobody's excitable, so that's all good. All right, well, we'll be back as soon as this is over because I know you guys don't like to always watch this. All right, we picked up a handful of horses. I let Master Fiddle go. So, second affair. Eh, I'm not in love with that one. Master Riddle, we like, how, how, how did he, well, we aren't going to be able to see how he looked since we didn't buy him. Grand Dama. Really good constitution. Not much in the way of anything else. Honorable Knight. Ooh, I like that. Good potential. 75 possible. Constitution's a little on the low side. Won't be able to run quite as much. Uh, solid Confidence. Look at the extra speed rating. Oh, I am in love with this horse. This could be the horse we have been waiting for. Very consistent, decent finishing application. I wish enthusiasm was a little better, but I am liking that horse so far. Likes a muddy track, so probably dirt. Five furlongs, gonna be a short distance horse.
All right. Could be better then, but that's uh, okay. Jalus's dream. Okay. Uh, could be, you know, we're already over 50. We're at, what, 55? We can get up to 65. And so maybe we could get up near the 75 range as a three-year-old, possibly. Cruising burst is pretty solid. Extra speeds at 75. Finish application, again, enthusiasm a little on the light side. There's a lot there to work with and maybe a breeding possibility down the road for JL's dream. Alma Viva. All right, we've got a long way to go to build that horse. We're not even at 25% on current potential, but 70%. If we can build her up, this could be one that gets up into 75 and 80. Very good constitution. Extra speed is up there at 85-ish. That's strong. I mean, everything else is middle of the road, so... That extra speed, I'm liking that. So we picked up a couple with really good extra speed. And Dumpus, again, over 75, not much, 76, 77. Cruising Burst is pretty solid. There's, there's some stuff to like with that horse. So I think we picked up a couple of possibilities there that we'll look at as two-year-olds. We'll see. We'll see. We'll go in and evaluate them in the appropriate episode. Uh, so that is, I think, we've got one more yearling sale. I could probably buy one or two more horses, maybe three, maybe three. Um, I might look at a breeder instead. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get to our next race, which will be September 5th. We've got two horses going today, one here stateside in California, and that is going to be Amthal Bridget the Fidget, rather than Bridget the Midget. You'll have to figure that one out on your own. Uh, but that's a grade two. And then over here we have Miss Aura going in a grade three in South Africa. Pretty excited about that. Who do we have riding? I guess it'll be interesting to see. I'd like our main jockey riding Miss Aura, I think, because Amthal, I think it's just a waste of time. But uh, we'll see. But the good news is all of the horses have won races. Two of them have graded wins. I mean, grade three, but, you know, better than nothing, right? Right? I mean, I got to try to look on the positive side of stuff here, guys. All right, let's find our race. All right, there's there's Amthal. Thank you. We knew that was going to be the case. Bridget the Fidget. Looking well, lean and ready to go. Yeah. And Amthal parading well. I could always be surprised. I guess. I'm not holding my breath. Oh, a good break. A good break. All right, out to the lead. Oh, he's, he's holding up. You saw him pull the head. I don't like the fact that we're out that far. That's scaring the pejesus out of me. All right, Jamalia making the run. All right, we're staying pretty close. All right, two furlongs. We're in second. We've got some runners coming in Biolica and Craig Mill. 1.2 furlongs coming up on the furlong pole. We're still holding second, neck and neck with Biolica. We pull away a little bit. We're not going to catch Jamalia. And, oh my God, it's Bridget to Fidget, and we fade to fourth. Oh, they caught us in the final two-tenths of a furlong or .2 furlongs or I don't know, however you do that. That is disappointing. Fourth place finish, $3,000. Cost us $3,000. Buy a half a length. Craig Mill 
came on very, very hard, and Amthal faded. Oh, struggled in this grade. All right, well, we'll go look at the grade when this is over. And Miss Aura is going to be a middle of the pack here, which is very, very unusual for her. Pretty evenly split among the leaders, parading lazily. God, I wonder if I could pull her at this point. Can I? Can I go here? Doesn't look like I can't scratch. All right, well, that's fine. Is what it is. Oh, my goodness. Make sure we're still recording. All right, this is a right to left. Six furlongs. Man, yeah, broke okay. Broke okay. We immediately go to the back of the pack on the rail. We're going to have to find some room, if we can even catch up with the field. Goes way outside. That's, that's scary as hell. Two furlong pole. We are four lengths back of the field. And they are pulling away, and we are not making a move. And this was a bad decision to enter this horse in this particular race. Can we catch face east? I'm going to say no. Maybe, maybe. No, didn't do it. Didn't do it. Dead last. Dead last. Never in it. Ridden as a closer. Doesn't really give me a lot there. That's disappointing. Oh, my goodness. All right. His last race, Amthal, they said, struggled in the grade. So it was a grade two. We were in a class five, class two. All right. We're starting to tail off here. We were up at a 78. We've dropped. Oh, boy. And I'm looking for fitness. Yeah, fitness is way up there. Condition, 90%. So I think we're okay. She's bred at a mile. Let's go ahead and try to run her on another mile. And she likes a heavy track. I'm not sure what that is. So let's see. If we enter by a mile. All right, that's a handicap. She's a 104. We could go there. Dirt track, 80. See, these are horses. These are races that, ah, don't know, don't know. Class two, a sprint one, grade two. Class one, grade two, which is the one we were outclassed on. So we want to stay away from those. Class one, grade three. So we finished third, third, and fourth on our last grade threes at this distance. We've got a 104 rating. I don't know if we'll, uh, this is an open, you know what? Let's enter there. We'll carry the least amount of weight. Oh, that was Amthal. I'm looking at the wrong freaking horse. Uh, yeah, let's remove that horse. No. Um, I was wondering why all these were showing up. Class 1, grade 3. Third, yeah, I think... Handicap. Let's look at this handicap here. We'll go there with Amthal and Miss Aura. Dead last in another big purse race. 
that's disappointing. So I think we're looking at class twos all day here with this horse. I think we've got the, yeah, five to six is the best that she can do. Let's look at a five. Going preference is a good track. Selling, selling, all selling. So we don't want to go there. Anything in a six not selling? Class one, grade two. All right, the grade three. So no, we don't want to deal with that. All right, this might be the only option. Class one, grade three. Maybe. That's where we've been. That's where she was winning handicaps this is an open let's give her a run i mean you know let's give her a run i suppose all right uh 34 minutes i think we'll call that an episode and we'll come back for these races and i will decide if we're going to give these horses another go but hey, we've doubled our winners. We had two. Now we've got four. And we had, I think it was two in 28. Now we've got four in 40. So that's one in 10 instead of one in 14. So we've gotten better. I'm going to call that an improvement. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you don't mind. Keep the thoughts coming. Let me know. Again, if you have any anything that you think I can do with third half, that horse should be so good. I don't, it, again, to me, I think that horse should be so good. But I, I don't know. Maybe it's just, you know, maybe, is that 75 extra speed? I mean, is that that important? Do you need to be on the high side of 75 that that's kind of like the mediocre level? I don't know. But he is a three-year-old colt. Uh, maybe we've got something there that we do have good potential, confidence. I think we've got some good ratings in here. Maybe he goes into our uh, stud barn and replaces uh, our other stud horse out there. What was his name? I forget. Uh, Van, Van Doesberg. It'll be interesting to see, though. I am interested to see how he comes out um, with his with his offspring this year. Because uh, we are breeding him with several um, several horses. One, two, three. Oh, are all of our breeding mares in full? We had two other ones I didn't check to make sure they took. And they appear to have. Yeah, one of them is uh, Isis, and the other one was, was it Nasij? No, Day of Atonement. Day of Atonement was the other one that we just bought. All right, guys, well, I am out of here. We'll see you next episode, and uh, maybe we can get a couple of more wins. I don't know. We'll see you. Bye.